Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to my Wild Rift tier list for patch 5.1c. So many buffs in this patch and a few changes have been happening around in the tier list. As always, I'm going to go through every single role. I'm going to talk about my changes as well in terms of the tier list and what I think is very strong at the moment. Obviously, all my own personal opinion from playing the game. If you missed yesterday's stream, I did actually stream on YouTube as well. So you can go back to my channel. You can watch the live stream if you want to. I played a bunch of games yesterday on the new patch with some of the buff champions. And these are kind of my thoughts on what I think about the champions right now. Now, first off, I actually want to start off in the jungle, uh, since that's kind of where loads of things have changed, really, uh, in the jungle. Now, the likes of Lilia and Viego were, like, really, really broken in the last patch. They were, like, S+, plus Lil Lilia and Viego. They're both moving down by one tier. See, Lilia's damage is still better than what it was uh, pre-buff before. So, pre-buff... Compared to now, Lilia is still stronger. I still don't think she's as strong as what she was in the last patch because they nerfed quite a lot of her damage in her first ability and her second ability. But I still think she's going to be a very strong champion. Same with Viego. Um, obviously, Viego is still a lot better than what he was on release. Uh, still, them nerfing the damage to the first ability and the ultimate was still pretty big. I still think Viego and Lilia are both going to be really, really great champions. I still think they're both going to be extremely good. However, again, I don't think they're going to be as strong as what they were before in terms of really strong champions i think hecarim is still going to stay up here even though they change slightly how his first ability works now i still think this champion is going to be very very strong they didn't change too much in terms of damage just the movement speed on the third ability which i think is completely fine and obviously with these other champions like lee sin Xin Zhao, and evelyn which have not changed all these champions are still going to be really good other champions they buffed vi i thought was still good in the last patch is even stronger now Bragas as well is a buff that I don't really agree with. Again, I still thought he was strong last patch. He's going to be even stronger this patch. He only did to get some adjustments to his jungle clear speeds, but I think that'll be totally fine. Um, Diana, I think Loki might be a really, really strong jungle pick this patch. I think the buff to her second ability, giving her more, sh more shielding and more damage is going to be great. Also, the cooldown going lower on her first ability, so she can use that mobility a little bit more with her third ability. I think she's going to be a great champion this patch um, in the jungle. And Riven, I haven't spoke about re Riven since the rework that happened to her. Um, not this patch just gone, but last patch before. Um, really, really big change to Riven. I mean, Riven at the moment with the reset on her ultimate is incredibly powerful. And that's why I've also moved her up as well. Both Riven and Diana have both been moved up into S tier. Uh, that did mean that I, I felt like some of the champions had to move down from s tier to a tier and i was looking at the s tier champions seeing like what champions i feel like deserve to maybe move move down and i feel like jarvan and kindred are probably the two to move down kindred has never really felt the same um before she got the buffs um or before she got the the nerf sorry i should say she got nerfed and now she doesn't really get played that much anymore i think she's still pretty strong i don't think she's as strong as any of the s tier champions so i definitely feel like she's gone down a few a uh, few tiers same with jarvan as well again a champion that can still perform well it can still do very well but again just doesn't have that real kind of same impact wukong buff doesn't really do much he stays in a tier he's still okay he's not that great uh ramos also at the moment pretty good pick at the moment um really really good against these four ad compositions if you have a lot of attack damage i still think it'll be really good zed with the buff to his ultimate i don't think he's going to do too much i think it's just going to be him just running around still trying to get kills and still struggling to get kills same with shivana as well again i don't think the buffs are really going to impact her as much um, some of these might change you know keep an eye out on my tier list i still might change some of these these are just my early thoughts of playing games yesterday and trying out some of these champions and also playing against some of these champions as well uh you know i played against hecarim i played with hecarim i still think he's very strong um viego i think still think gets picked or banned pretty much every single game to be fair or even banned every single game i gave riven a try i gave diana a try that's why i moved these up because these are both very very strong but yeah in general i you know nothing has changed in like the s plus tier so to say um well actually no it has changed in the s plus tier because obviously lily and viego were up there before and they moved down but overall there's still a lot of jungle champions that you can play i, th I think that it was really good that they actually nerfed a lot of the really op junglers and they buffed some of the junglers that maybe weren't getting as much love like diana zed and also shivana 
Uh, barrel lane is probably the most boring lane, to be honest with you. Um, the, the only two changes that I've done to this lane is I've moved out Yas Yasuo and Yone. Um, Yasuo tank is so disgusting right now. It's not even a joke. Like, Grass Beyond Dine, tank Yasuo going like Wits End, Twin Guard, Solari Charge Blades, Divine Sundra. Th this guy is unkillable, honestly. Like, completely unkillable. Like, it's so difficult to deal with tank Yasuo in the mid lane and also in the baron lane i mean i'll give you a sneak peek, peek in the mid lane but i've also put him in the mid lane as well i mean it, yes it has lethal tempo i mean you can still go for both builds but i feel like the tank version of this build that normally gets played a lot more in the baron lane can also work in the mid lane as well because you can just rush wits end first item against all of these mages yeah overall yasuo and also yone is still very strong again even after the nerf they nerfed a little bit of his armor i still think that's okay i don't think that's gonna affect him too much i still feel like his damage is still there his playmaking potential is still there as well um but yeah in, in terms of everything else in the barrel lane it all pretty much stays the same wukong still not as good still not as strong kennan as well did get a little bit of a buff but again i don't think that kennan is still going to move up i don't think kennan is as strong the only big talking point is definitely going to be jax's rework which comes out in a few weeks time so we have to wait for the rework and obviously i'll change the tier list and i'll do a video on the rework as well kind of talking about the changes and what i think about jax but in general nothing really has changed too much you know yone and yasuo are still uh, very very powerful as I mentioned, mid lane, Yasuo moving up into S plus tier. I, this champion is just so difficult to deal with right now. I don't know. They've buffed him, what, two times over the past few months, I would say. Two or maybe three times over the past few months. And now he's just become such an annoying champion to deal with. Again, you can go for kind of the carry build if you want to. The more popular version is definitely the Grass Beyond Dying uh, tank build. Still really, really powerful. Vladimir is still really good. Akali is also still really good. Aurelian Soul, I feel like, is a little bit more uh, hit or miss. I still think Aurelian Soul is very powerful, but again, more of a late game champion, but still incredibly powerful at the moment. Then in the S tier, we still have the same sort of champions. I have moved, I have moved Kassadin down. Um, not that I don't think Kassadin is weaker, but I just think of how the kind of meta is right now uh, in terms of there's a lot more tanks, there's a lot more, um, well, there's a lot less burst damage. You know, with first strike being nerfed, obviously it's kind of a big nerf to Kassadin in general. Um, I don't know if to some of these other champions as well, but I don't think Kassadin can have kind of the same plays as what uh, he used to do before. And the same sort of lane pressure as well, because there's so many mages at the moment that are getting played in the mid lane. You know, Zoe, Ziggs, Vex, Oriana, Syndra, even Aurelian Soul um, that can do really well against him. Um, so I think it's a little bit difficult, difficult for Kassadin. Again, I still feel, feel like Kassadin is pretty strong, but still kind of the same way. Uh, Zed stays in A tier. Again, no movement. Kennen, again, no movement. Stays in A tier. I don't think with the buffs, any of these two champions deserve to move up at all. Um, Diana mid, I should maybe move up. Um, I just don't like Diana mid compared to Diana in the jungle. I think Diana in the jungle is definitely uh, a lot better, in my opinion, just because you can roam a lot more and you can make some more plays. But I think Diana mid lane deserves to maybe uh, move up. Um, Ari, I've moved down. I just don't think Ari has the same sort of burst damage. Even when, even when you land your charm, you still feel like you're just never going to kill anyone with Ari. Yeah, she has a mobility, but that's about it, to be fair. So I don't really like Ari at the moment in the current meta. Swain, I think with Rod of Ages, I think it's going to be very, very good. Um, Rod of Ages buff is going to be really good on, um, on some champions. I think Swain is probably the best. You know, you can use it on other champions that maybe want a bit more hp over time you know casting you can go back to building rod of ages as well if you want a bit more tankiness um you have the extra hp hp now and also you can stack it a lot quicker um but i still feel like most players will just skip rod of ages i don't think it's like like i said it's like one minute difference uh, as i mentioned before in the patch notes so i don't think that's going to make a lot of difference at all to players building it or not i still think players are just going to skip it out and build other items instead basically uh, Brand I moved up. Uh, Brand is a little bit stronger. I still don't think he's that strong. He's a little bit stronger with the buffs that he received. So I'm moving up from C from the, I guess you can call it dead tier in a way with the C tier. I moved him up into B tier. I still don't think he's really that strong. I still think he has a lot of weaknesses. He still can't make the same sort of plays. I mean, if you hide in a bush and if you catch someone, then you can do a lot of damage. But even then, like the burst damage is not there. If you use an ultimate on the back line, then maybe you can 
you know get something going with his passive but still you get jumped on by like i don't know an akali a yasuo a, a vladimir like you, you're just you're just dead like <laughs> there is nothing you could do as a brand you're just completely dead um and in terms of the rest of the mid lane again nothing else has really changed too much um everything is pretty much the same i don't think i've missed out anything uh in the mid lane oh i also moved corky up as well i also moved corky up from b i have my list on my right hand side i also moved corky up from b to a tier as well um with the buff that happened to man immune corky is definitely getting a lot more popular and a lot stronger as well um so corky is definitely going to be a champion that um is definitely on the rise uh, especially with this kind of meta as i mentioned with like first strike being nerfed there's not as much burst damage but there's still burst damage in the game but it's just less towards first strike and true damage and more towards you know electrocute quick bursts or just the ability to doing so much damage in general which is a lot more easier to counter in my opinion um adc now even though corky's a in mid lane i still don't think corky is as strong i think corky's a lot stronger in mid lane than what he is in adc role one champion that is stupidly strong honestly if there was an s plus plus tier i would move him up is ezreal i do not know what they were thinking with ezreal like they are i don't know i don't know what they're thinking they buffed his base damage on his first ability again they lowered the cooldown of his third ability and it basically makes him a super safe adc which also does a lot of damage now like this champion is just absolutely absurd now how strong ezreal is yes he relies more on his, his skill shots yes he's a bit more skill shot reliant but there becomes a situation where the skill shots don't well they still mean a lot but the skill shots if you miss some of the skill shots it still doesn't mean a lot because the uh, skill shots that do land still do a lot of damage so Ezreal is just absolutely insane same other ADCs are still really strong as well you know Caitlyn, Zaya and Lucian all of these are still really strong S tier pretty much stays the same Misfortune rework honestly before the buffs it was probably B tier now I moved it up into A tier I I just don't like the rework in general the thing is with the rework is that they've kind of removed the power of Misfortune which was um first strike poking enemy champions during the laning phase and do a lot of damage during the laning phase yes she kind of struggled a little bit with scaling and she was a little bit weaker later on but now she's they've kind of gotten rid of all of that early game pressure with the new passive um they buffed her first ability a little bit she does a bit of damage but not as much and they put more power into her mid game and her late game you know a lot more to do with her single target damage with her passive trying to bump up her damage by a certain percentage but it's not like true damage or anything so even though you're bumping it up by like eight percent if anyone on the enemy team has armor then that eight percent is now like six percent or something or even maybe even lower than that with the armor that gets built on the enemy team so yeah i firstly i don't like the misfortune rework i just don't think she's going to be that strong honestly i could probably move her back down to b tier to be honest with you because look at all these other champions that are in a tier um you know Callista is still pretty good samira is still pretty good Jin as well yeah maybe she's like a or a or b right now to be fair i don't think there's anyone debating that i don't think there's anyone that thinks she's like an sos plus tier because yeah she's definitely not as strong i still think she needs another buff even after the most recent buff as well um but we'll have to wait and see if that buff actually does come in or if it doesn't um support s plus tier hasn't changed pike is still very strong lux is still very strong yumi is still yumi and norsus is still very strong in terms of the s tier i've moved on up now i think Orn is one of the most underrated and one of the most fun supports to play right now especially with glacial augment like the amount of plays that you can do with Orn, his ultimate his knockups with his third ability some of you might have seen my Orn video a few days ago but it, he, he's such a pop-off champion that i just absolutely love playing him at the moment in support he might be even one of the best tank supports right now to be honest with you you know nautilus is still really good leona is still really good um brom can still work in certain scenarios obviously rakan buffed as well thresh is okay as well but orn just has so much to him i feel like he's tankier and also he has a, the same sort of playmaking potential and also he has this passive which allows his adc to just buy items wherever he wants to on the map so that's great as well like you have tankiness you have cc you have the ability to allow your adc to buy items and not go back to base what more do you want with a support <laughs> what more do you want to kind of protect your ad carry um but rakan buffs really really nice i still think rakan was pretty good last patch so he just stays the same he doesn't move up into s plus or anything i still think rakan pretty much stays the same the same sort of enchanters are still in the s tier as well you know janna is still really good soraka lulu 
Uh, Calm is still pretty strong as well. Um, in terms of the A tier, Gragas buff, I honestly think that the Gragas buff benefited support Gragas more than like jungle Gragas or just top lane Gragas because the damage reduction on the second ability is really, really big for Gragas. I think that um, it's really nice in general. The extra healing, um, scaling off your uh, percentage of your maximum health with support Gragas, you go from pill mandate warmog, so you're going to be healing more with the passive. So overall, I think this is a buff to tank Gragas. And if you watch pro play on Wild Rift, they always ban or pick Gragas like every single game. It, the champion's really strong. It's just kind of that thing of like pro play is very different to solo queue, whereas solo queue is a lot more solo carry, solo carry and reliant. Whereas, um, whereas like, um, what am I thinking of? Where, whereas pro play, sorry, is a lot more around the team, a lot more around making plays and going for shot calls, which Gragas is you know, obviously great at. Uh, Swain as well, again, a pretty underrated pick. Uh, again, as I mentioned, Swain with Rod of Ages might be, you know, really, really strong this patch, especially with the extra HP that you get. Uh, and that's pretty much everything, to be fair. Um, like I said, a lot of buffs, um, a lot of questions I th feel like still to be answered in this patch as well. Um, especially, you know, in the jungle, I still feel like there's a lot of questions to be answered you know is Lilia still going to be as strong is Viego still going to be as strong I don't think they're going to be as strong to be honest with you honestly if you play jungle just play any one of these four champions you'll do great honestly Hecarim or Zin Zhao even one of these two are these two are probably the strongest junglers right now for sure you know in terms of mid lane you just play Tank Yasuo or Akali Vladimir and just scale ADC there's quite a few ADCs that you can play supports depends what sort of play style Tank you play Nautilus Carry you play Pike Enchanter you play like Lux or Yumi and then Baron Lane, nothing really changed in Baron Lane, to be fair. But overall, I, I feel like this patch was probably one of the better patches in recent times. I feel like most of the buffs I agree with, and also most of the nerfs I agree with as well. You know, nerfed to Overgrove, buffed to Rod of Ages. They buffed a lot of the weaker champions, nerfed a lot of the strong champions. Um, so it's, it feels like they're slowly getting on the right track, which is always great to see. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my rundown of this tier list. Again, any opinions you might have, let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the champions. And as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next Wilder video. Peace.